party animals. <laughs> the wildlife that lives in the city. Welcome to Friends of Future Chicken, where we squawk about the planet positive actions you did today that's made the future even better. Time twisting to 2050 is our friend Donna Francis. Donna is an expert at the Ontario Science Centre who also loves the great outdoors. <laughs> Definitely. Hi, Donna. So can you tell us where we can find wildlife in the city? Well, even though cities are filled with people and buildings and traffic, there are plenty of ways to spot wildlife. Just look outside. Whoa! You know, many urban wild animals benefit from living with us, such as raccoons. Yum, trash. Mice. What does a mouse need to do to get a slice of cheese around here? Sparrows. Hey, I'm chirping here. And pigeons. Yeah, hey, you got any more of that bread? They thrive on the food we leave behind. Coo coo. And can seek shelter in our buildings. Boktastic! Do they ever order room service? <laughs> I don't think so, but they may rummage through your garbage or compost bins or nest on your apartment's windowsill. Here, let's look at a couple cities around the world to spot more urban wildlife, starting with Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Whoa, are those toucans and monkeys in the trees? Yes, you'll see them in the more forested areas of the city, like botanical gardens. And if you're near a body of fresh water, like a lagoon, you may see a capybara. Ola. Or in the winter, you could spot a whale swimming in the harbor. Whoa, that's really cool. <coughs> now let's check out a backyard at a home in a North American city. Oh, I see a bird's nest up on that drain spout and a squirrel by the tree. Oh, and butterflies. Great, but what if we change from daytime to nighttime? Oh, now we're talking about Animal. They like to come out at night, like that raccoon, mouse, and bats looking for nighttime snacks. But what's under that rock? That's where you'll find an invisible world, a biodiverse ecosystem of insects and worms literally under our feet. <laughs> you call that an invisible world. I call it dinner. <laughs> Insects. Remember, as you explore nature, it's important to be mindful and gentle and to put things back where you found them. You don't want to mess up an animal's home. Good point. Thanks to my friends taking good care of urban green spaces and animal habitats in the 2020s, we all live in harmony in the 2050s. Thanks, Donna, for taking us on an urban wildlife safari. Anytime. Wow. What wild animals can you find where you live? Just head outside, watch and listen. And maybe even plant a butterfly or bee-friendly garden. And be sure to visit us on all our socials for more eco-warrior tips. Together, we make the future. Together, we make the future.